functions or methods. So basically, it's a block of code that performs a specific task. We write once, use it multiple times. Look at this program. This program finds sign of a number. Let's see how can we convert this into a small function. So basically, it's important to have a main function because without a main function, this program does not work. So a class file is created uh, for every single class, but to run the program, we, we need to have a main function, right? Main itself a function. Now let's create another function because every program comes with main, but uh, if you're going to write uh, lots of code, right? Uh, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of thousands and thousands, lakhs and lakhs of code, it is better to put things into have small functions and call it whenever whenever required. Now let's see uh, which are programs we had. We had two programs, right? I think we had six two programs for this example. One is check sign, another one is find or or even. We will try both, right? Let's see how to convert this into a function. So this is what a function looks like. Function basically has three sections that it type, uh, name of the function and parameters if any. Let's let's convert this into a function. So let's see. This is find sign, right? This function name is going to be a. Let's assume uh, find sign function. Function name is going to be find sign. So this entire thing we're going to put it into find sign. So let's take this entire stuff, uh, starting from reading input and printing result. Let's take the entire stuff and put it in a function. This itself it's already there in the main function, but main function uh, must be there in all programs now. Based on the requirement, we will create multiple function and we should understand what is function and how it works, right? Look at this, y is a written type, find sign is the function name. So whenever we write a function name, if that's going to have uh, two words, then the first, uh, it's a good coding standard, right? So first words, first letter should be lowercase and second word, uh, from, from the second word, it should be a uh, uppercase. They call it as, I think, uh, camel case, right? So the entire logic is put inside this function. They basically say it is a written type is, is no, no written type. Y is nothing but a Y. It has no written type. And if you see something within the bracket, you will say it's a parameter. So now we don't see anything in the bracket. So we simply say it's a no parameter. It is a function without written type and without parameter. There's a type of this. So entire logic is put, put in here. Now this function name is find sign. And remember, this find sign function is part of the class sign, right? Now, we're going to deal with the main function and main will have control over this function. Main function will call this function, will call this method out. Now we need to create an object. Now we are slowly getting into uh, object creation, right? Now sign is the class name, right? We're going to create an object for this class, right? Let's say sign, right? S1 is equal to new sign of this is object creation, right? So S1 dot the method name is find sign. That's about it. No, sorry. Here we need to call it here. Find sign. Find sign. We're calling it like this. So if you call it out. It, it, the flow moves down here, it, it performs, it takes a number, checks and uses a result. Now, what is the advantage of this main? We, we cannot have the entire code in main, so what we do is, suppose this program alone is going to perform find sign, um, find order even, and a lot of operations. So what we can do is we can take one separate uh, uh, module for one particular business logic. So find sign is separate program. We put it in the function. Uh, find order even which we put it in a separate function call it call it within this so now function is now converted into a method y because it is part of a class so this find sign method cannot be accessed without an object reference so s1 is an object reference right so it's a simple class name object name in c++ simply it's a class name and object name now here class name object name is equal to new class name of that is the method with, with which we create objects, right? Now let's run this program and see what happens. Now let's run this program. So we know the what program is. So it's a Java C uh, sign dot Java is the function name. Then we 
will run it java sign so now look at this so it is it, it is it is running without an error so simply we create an object reference and calling this method find sign right so find sign has enter and number it checks whether it is a positive or negative or it's enter 12 it says positive then enter minus 1 it says negative then let's enter 0 it says 0 right look at this the program remains same the only difference is you've kept the business logic that the logic in a separate method we are calling this method using object 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 reference yes one is the object reference with which we are calling this method find sign now we can write the program uh, maybe uh, we'll write the program for this so instead of this let's write uh, odd right we already had written this program let's maybe we can open up open it up and see uh, not this so it checks a number uh, divisible by 2 right so the logic what we had was it's almost very simple if num modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 right then we set the even number otherwise else we set We said it's odd number. Now, uh, this is within main function. Now we're going to take this entire logic, right? Simple. We're going to take this entire logic out of this main function, right? We're going to create a method, right? So the method name, let's say um, find odd. So why does it type? Method name is um, find odd or even. So let's say odd. the method name and it is going to take a new parameter and simply open the curly braces and close it up and you place the code the entire code is put it here enter a number it gives us it reads a number and finds whether it's odd or even and displays the result right so this function is over so what we need to do is within the main method we'll have to create because from this only the program flow starts. So odd is a class name, O1, let's say any, any, any variable. Otherwise, OBJ, object is the object name of reference. And name, odd up. So semicolon, odd dot find odd even. We are calling this method. Now we are going to save this, compile this program. Java C or the Java. So it says um, okay. O is different uh, here. So this sorry, the object name is OBJ is the object name. Let's save this, compile this program, and run it. Java. Enter number it says. So I enter twelve. What it says? It says twelve. Right now we're keeping the logic in a separate function, so it it looks uh, clean. The code looks very clean. Main function is there. We are not going to have too much in main function because the control uh, flows from main. So it's important that you keep main uh, very very clean. So this this method this function concept helps us to perform uh, you know task easily and uh, it keeps logic separate. It, 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 it makes a program neat and good. Now, we, we need to talk about, uh, so we simply saw void, which means it does not return anything. Here we have not passed any parameter, which means uh, it does not take any parameter. Basically, function is, is of four types, right? So you can simply split it this way. You write written type function name and you write without, without twice, then without, with, then write with twice then without with. so we can say uh, a function without type and without parameter it is a function uh, sorry it's a parameter it is not a it is a function the, the type what we have seen parameter right 
So what we have seen right now without written type, without parameter. Look at this function. We'll say written type is no, parameter is also no. So which means there is a function without written type, without parameter. Now second one, let's convert this. Without written type, with parameter. <coughs> As a with parameter, which means it has to uh, uh, get a parameter from the function where they call. <coughs> so what we need to do is we'll have to make, get a number from the main function and pass it across. For example, let's take this, right? Uh, let's take these three cores and uh, simply place it here. We're going to read a number here and store it in num and we'll have to pass num. num. So num, we know that we are passing integer, so we'll have to create, and we'll have to mention it here. So this function find or even will receive a parameter from a main function that parameter is of integer type. So having same name is not a problem. Uh, the variable what you mentioned is local to this main and the variable the num here we have mentioned is local to this function find order even if you like to uh, change this you can simply say n you can pass n from here int n you read a number pass it to main pass it to this function find or even find or even takes an n and store it in num process it print the result here itself process it, print the result here itself. Understand the logic very clearly. Previously this find odd even was taking parameter there itself. It was reading input here, processed and printed the result. But here now what is happening? Parameter is being passed from main function. It process the, the operation, performs the operation and print the result. That is the logic behind this. So this function is without written type but with parameter. So it means it takes a parameter from the main function. Now we are running the same program. So we have saved it and done the set changes. Now look at this enter number. Let's say 20, 20. So this number is being read here. Right? Values are stored in n. And now we are passing calling this method find or even and passing n. So that the n is passed to this function, it is processed based on this condition it prints a result no difference so this is of second type it is without written type with parameter now let's look at the, 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 the third one with written type without a parameter we'll try we'll, we'll have to change modify this code with written type if you say with written type let's say uh, this this function is going to return true or false sometimes this function will return number Right, this function is going to return true or false. Look at the code, um, it's simple. So this is the method with read type. Look at this in the previous example, what we saved was void, but here what we see is return, which means this, this function is going to return an integer value, number one. Number two, and this function is not going to take any parameter from the main function, right? So what, which means it will take the input there in the function itself, so it takes an input, process it, checks whether it's an even or not. Uh, if it's even, it returns zero, otherwise it returns one. Here, in the main function, look at this. This is where the program flow starts from. So we have declared variable named as read written value or ETVAL. Now we're calling this function object dot find odd even. So we created object for this class. Find odd even is part of the same class both main method and find or even or in the same class but apart from main function if you're trying to access any other method you need to access it with its object right and that's what we are doing now so find or even is being called with an object named as obj which was created just before and we are storing whatever value is returning this function is being assigned to read value return value variable right now we check whether return value variable equal to zero. If it is zero, it is going to return it is message saying print a message. Now look at this. The input is we are not passing any parameter. So it takes input. Process it. In the previous program, it was printing the result here itself. Now what's happening? It simply returns the result. Then we we print it here in the main function. 
So there is a function without parameter and with return type. No parameter uh, is passed. Then the last type with return type with parameter. So the last type is very simple, easy to convert. Now this function will take a parameter, will return values as well. So we'll take a parameter we already discussed. Let us simply enter num. Now we need to take a value. So for that, what we need to do, we'll have to take remove this code from here and put it here, right? Just simply put it here. Fine. So what we do, we need to pass this value here. So num here instead of num, I'm going to take n. We're going to pass n. We're passing it there from there. Now this function is taking a parameter and it is going to return a value. That is why we are using a third variable to store it. So we are passing it here. The program flow starts from here. Object reference, we read a number, we read the value and store it in the end and pass it to find odd even. That is being passed here. After taking this number, it processes the number. Um, it returns value. That returned value is being stored here. Now we check whether return value is zero. If it is zero, we print even num. Otherwise, we print odd num. That's about functions.